Red vs. Blue is the world's first, and currently only, online, player versus player computer game designed to teach real-world cybersecurity. It's gamification in its truest form. Gamification makes ordinary concepts or processes, in our case training, more engaging, entertaining, and memorable by introducing game-like features such as competition, points, leaderboards, and badges. Sometimes trivial pursuit or Jeopardy style features are used for entertainment value. But Red vs. Blue even takes gamification to the next level by immersing the player in a strategic computer game style simulation. It doesn't get more gamified than actually playing a computer game. Traditional training methods, such as live classroom training and even CBTs, or computer-based training, can often be time-consuming, costly, and, to be honest, quite boring. But more importantly, these methods aren't usually very effective. Most people learn and retain information by doing, rather than just lectures alone. This is particularly difficult when considering more strategic-level skills, until gamification. Gamification is capable of simulating hands-on application of even strategic skills while also engaging students in an entertaining way. From a cybersecurity perspective, it allows students of all skill levels to learn the red team, or hacker, strategies and methods without a technical learning curve. Understanding the strategies and techniques of your adversary will make your defensive strategies much more efficient, and this can also mean more cost-effective. Think of it like a sports match. The defense is much more competitive if they game plan for the specific team they will face and the tactics that they will use. Without this targeted planning, it's usually a pretty bad day for the defense. Cybersecurity is not a set it and forget it strategy. Constant assessment and adjustments are needed as live adversaries actively work against you and counter your strategies and controls. Gamification, combined with an understanding of the red team and the tactics that they use, allows for practical training of unique scenarios such as this in a way that traditional training methods can't.